there's a lot of concern all over the country about the safety of the seafood supply. Average Gulf fisherman is in a lot of trouble. In the Gulf, um, I think we're going to be dealing with the effects of both the oil and the dispersants for probably years to come. We, as an industry, want to maintain our livelihoods. We want to continue fishing, but we also, under no circumstances, want to lose consumer confidence in the product that we're producing. Just one sick person from this is going to devastate my industry. One bad shrimp in a restaurant in Chicago, uh, you know, if this, the way things get blogged and tweeted, it's, uh, it goes viral and it goes viral quickly. We have about 20,000 people in the region who are working around the clock to contain and clean up this oil. We have activated about 1,400 members of the National Guard in four states. We have the Coast Guard on site. We have more than 1,300 vessels assisting in the containment and cleanup efforts. We've deployed over 3 million feet of total boom to stop the oil from coming onshore. And today, more than 100,000 feet of boom is being surged to Louisiana parishes that are facing the greatest risk from the oil. These fishermen go out there, get the stuff that belongs to everybody. They're just getting paid to bring it here, and then they pay me to, to serve it to them. That's the actual fact of a fisherman and how I feel about it, and that's the truth. constantly afraid of the oil spill. It's in the back of our mind, when are we gonna be able to get shrimp again? So this is why we're here and bought 20 pounds and uh, maybe next week another 20 if we can. I've had oysters before in South Louisiana, Lafayette, that taste petroleum, a petroleum taste, and it was not good. It's affected my business at present. We're running about 32% less sales, which is major for me. I think BP is using every effort. They all has escaped, got on the beaches. Once it's on the beaches, you know, uh, what do you do? Take cotton balls and go around. They, they're trying to, to get this all up. And uh, we have a vessel working out there. You've seen the vessel. It's probably one of the largest uh, shrimp vessel out there, but uh, report where the oil is, report where the oil is. Even if the, the seafood itself isn't harvested in the Gulf, the Gulf drives market prices for the whole country because they produce so much of the seafood. So when Gulf grouper goes up in price, grouper caught anywhere else goes up well, as well. The closure is about protecting the consumer and ultimately the Gulf seafood brand and Gulf people who fish for and sell Gulf 
fish and seafood. Oh, on Fridays, we used to have lines all the way coming in the door, waiting. The whole place was filled, and as people left, the bus boys would take it, and we'd seat more people. We can seat 20 people in there. We haven't put, it, we haven't let anybody in there, and since the oil spill. All right, you guys ready to eat? All right, I have a mullet basket with cold. It's just really affected us, and. People are afraid, and they have to be afraid because of the media hype. Because if this happened in radio days, they wouldn't have even known it. They'd still be coming here to eat seafood. That's the way I look at it. And uh, they do a good job on this fish right here. It's fantastic. But I usually eat shrimp and oysters. But I love raw oysters, and, but uh, I'm scared to eat them now. And I probably won't. I'm hoping that the uh, visitors and the vacationers still come down and support the restaurants because they, they do need the business. I think there's enough of the Gulf left that they can fish and shrimp and stay away from the oil slick, but I think it's a terrible thing for the beaches. And what really upsets me is do they think we're so ignorant that we would sell anything that wasn't safe? I mean, no merchant would, not if you were selling beef, shrimp, chicken, whatever. You just wouldn't do that. Consumers are coming in the restaurants and wondering, is the safe seafood safe to eat? And so the message that most chefs are trying to put out there is the government's testing the seafood very rigorously. And they're closing areas that are contaminated or even areas that might be contaminated and testing the seafood that's being harvested both on docks, they're testing it uh, on the boats and when it gets into processing plants. So we'll continue to do whatever is necessary to protect and restore the Gulf Coast.